Hey guys, my name is Chad Trofgruben, and welcome back to the Steve and the Alien tutorial series. Last time, we drew out the gun for our alien to wield when he shoots at the UFO. Now, we're going to take this to the next step and draw out the muzzle flash that will be coming out of the gun barrel when he fires the gun. And this is a pretty simple tutorial, especially if you are used to the switch layers, which I showed you when we were creating our character designs in the past few lessons. So to get started, I need you to open up the gun file that you made in the last video. So once you have that project file open up, we can go ahead and make a new switch layer. So just go to a new layer and then switch, and we can name this muzzle flash. Now you can put the switch layer into the gun if you wish, and then you can just bring that whole thing with you when you make your animation later on when we are doing the whole sequence with the alien shooting the gun. Or you can keep it separate and bring it in separately when we are importing everything in. The choice is yours. For right now, I will keep it outside of the gun um, and I'll just move it below the gun. And I'll make it as a separate object just to keep things separated, especially since we are doing separate lessons right now. So we need to make a new layer within this muzzle flash. So we'll go to new vector and we can just name this MF1 and move it down like this. Now the reason why we made a switch layer and the reason why we'll have multiple vector layers for the muzzle flash is because I am making a machine gun for the alien to shoot. So we're gonna have the muzzle flash change a lot as it's being fired. So this is gonna be the first instance of the muzzle flash and we'll have similar looking instances throughout this. Now, I'll go over here to my add point tool and choose the sharp corners option and leave auto fill off. Coming over here to the um, style properties, I'll change my width to four. We will change the stroke color to an orange. And we can do the fill color in a little bit here, of course. And we can make sure that we are set to plain. We don't have any gradients or anything like that ready to go. So once we do that, we can zoom in here near the end where we have the barrel. And I can just start right here and go up, down, and create a shape like this. And just close it off. Now, zooming in a little bit more, I'll create a second shape within this shape, kind of like a miniature version of what I just did. Just like that. Okay, bring that in. Now, I will fill in the colors. Both of these objects are going to be two different colors. So I'll take my paint bucket and go to the fill, and I'll do the big object first. So I will start with kind of a lighter orange, something like this, and click OK. And then just make sure I am set to both for my fill option, and fill it in. Now, I will choose this color for this object right here. So I'll go to fill and we'll choose yellow. And hit okay, take the paint bucket tool and fill it in. So now when we zoom out here, we can see that we have the start of our muzzle flash. And this is the first instance of that. So now let's make another layer and do another one. So we'll go to new layer, vector, MF2. 
And this time we'll take the add point tool and we're going to do the same thing we just did, but we're going to change the shape um, in both the way it's drawn out and the how wide it is coming out of the barrel or how long it is and so on. So this time I'll do something that's a little bit more uh, shorter in length. So again, starting right at the barrel, we'll go up like this and then down. Yeah, something like that. And again, we'll come in here and we'll do something similar on the inside. Now we need to fill this muzzle flash in just like we did before. So we'll take the paint bucket tool, but this time we want to adjust the colors slightly. We want to still stick with the orange and yellows, I'd say, but I want to add some variation to the color like I am the shapes of the muzzle flashes. So for the big part of the muzzle flash, I will choose a lighter orange than I did last time. And I'll fill that in. You can see it's small, well, maybe it's not lighter, but at least it's a different um, hue or tone of that orange color. But now I want to fill in the middle part. And again, this is gonna probably be yellow. I would choose, um, but we can make it brighter or maybe not as orange as we did last time and just fill that in like that. So we can see that there's a little bit of variation there, but not a whole lot. The most variation you'll probably find is within the main part of the muzzle flash. Next, we can do a new vector layer, MF3, get our add point tool and once again we will make another muzzle flash. Maybe make this one more like this. Like that. And I can zoom in here and actually maybe even just do a couple adjustments here. There we go, it looks a little bit better if I do. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. I want things that would be a little bit more um, lengthened and crushed for this one. So taking the add point tool, we'll then add a second little muzzle flash into the big one. And there we go. And now, once again, we'll choose our fill color. Again, try to choose something maybe a little bit different than what you have been choosing. Fill that in. And fill that in. So now we have the muzzle flash. It has variation so far with all of its instances. So, with so far, we have one that's medium, we have one that is less in length, and we have one that's more in length. So, let's do a couple more and just try to get some variation in here. So, we just have again variation when we are doing the actual animation. So, a new vector layer, MF4, grab the add point tool. And while you're doing this, you can check to see how much variation you have. Here's my first one. And this one looks similar. It's bigger, but we can make some tweaks if we want to just make things a little bit different as far as how they look. And that looks different now, I would say. We kind of got the change going there. So now, zoom in and we'll add the second little muzzle flash, the baby muzzle flash, as it were, into the big one. Just like that. Choose a different fill color.
There we go. And actually, I might just bring these in a little bit like that. Okay. So if we can kind of zoom in here and look, looking pretty good. We just need one more. And by now you should know the drill. So we'll take the add point tool and we'll see what we can get here. And then I will add in choose my fill color this one maybe I'll try yellow and then make the little one orange kind of give it some variation. And actually what I'll do here is select the entire muzzle flash and just nudge it in a little bit like this as well. So now when we look at all these, we can see that we have variation definitely occurring here. So that uh, works out for us. So now when we bring this switch layer into our animation and we're animating this all out, we can just switch these layers in and out while we're doing the animation to create the effect of the muzzle flash firing like a machine gun. And if you wanted to, you could adjust some other things as well. You could add more detail to the muzzle flashes. And there's some other adjustments you can make, like you could go into the layers themselves and you could add a blur to them if you wanted to. If you don't want them to look completely jagged like I have them right now, you can blur them together to make it look more like um, I guess a natural muzzle flash would, even though this is a cartoon, <laughs> but, um, we can try, let's say a 20, um, blur radius there and then render this out. And you can see now it kind of has a different look to it as far as how it would look when we are animating it. And there's all sorts of things you could do. You could actually go in and try some shading and you could kind of put like a glow around it if you wanted to, or even with the shadow, you could do that as well. So there are a few different things you could do with that. And I'll let you play around with those options if you wish. Because again, remember, this is going to be your cartoon. And I'd very much like to see you take the initiative and try some different things on your own and let your creativity run wild as we are going through this process. But anyway, make sure you save your file. We will be using it later on. Um, we have more lessons coming up with drawing the props, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.